I think he made the right decision in the end. Um, there was no way Ryan Grant could you know, get his hand down from there, and it hit him up here anyway. So he jumped for the ball, and he's on his way down. They headed it straight into his hand. So I was a bit worried, but um, yeah, he made obviously they made the right decision. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Pretty even, I think. Um, I think we had some good chances, um, not clear cut chances, but um, some good good stuff in, in and around the box. Um, you know, we had quite a few outs, and we had a couple changes because um, we had Gastro overnight. So you know, Caceres, Harry Van der Sarg, so, um, Yeah, so that we had to change a few few things structurally and, and player wise, but. Um, yeah, overall, I'm, you know, would have liked to have picked up the three points. Obviously, it's it's important to, to win your games at home, but you know, in the end, a, a draw is probably fair. I think. Yeah, definitely, the conditions were were tough tonight. It, uh, it was heavy. The pitch was heavy. Um, so I think overall, both teams probably played really well f for them. Conditions, you know, the pitch was wet. Uh, a lot of rain coming down as well. So. Um, yeah, very tough conditions, but the boys, I thought, coped pretty well with it. There seems to be a lot of frustration from players, staff, and even the punters around. 30th minute, you guys were on top. You had a, a really huge spell of momentum, and then um, <coughs> in, this, in the night game, it's pouring down as a drinks break for two minutes. You yeah. Into it. yeah, obviously that's a little bit frustrating. I think everyone's a little bit frustrated with that, but. Um, yeah, you know, I think there's there's times to have the the drinks break when people go down uh, with cramp or injury and stuff like that or goals. Um, but uh, yeah, otherwise, you know, it's it's a little bit frustrating. But it, it's the same for both teams, I suppose. We we were on top at one stage and and they had the drinks break. It helped them, and then you know I think they were on top at one stage as well. And then we had the drinks break in the second half. So it's sort of just the way it is at the moment. <laughs> That's what I said as well, mate. There was plenty of rain coming down, so we probably didn't need it. Well, it's for the for TV. Anything from on the Zoom, Ed or Nick? Uh, yeah, Stevie, um, with the guys with the gastro, when did you find out um, that they were crooked? And well, when I got a phone call from... I got a phone call from the physio at 7.30 in the morning. I know it's not a good uh, sign. So, and that's when I got it this morning. Uh, we had both of them overnight. And obviously, Caceres would have started. Uh, so we had to change that around. That's, where, that's why Maxi Burgess played as number six today instead of the, the original 10 that he was supposed to play. Um, but that happens, I suppose. Uh, we're getting used to the conditions, either it's COVID, gastro, or whatever these days. So uh, we, we just got to go with the flow, and they will be back next week. Them too. Uh, Co I'm, I'm sure Costa will be back next week as well for his first start of the, well, first game of the season. And um, we're hoping Musti will be back as well. I think Retre is probably out next week uh, due to five yellow cards, and then we'll see how they are. Yeah, I thought he played really well as a number six as well. He got on the ball, he, he did all the right things, he kept it for us. Defensively, he, he was good as well. And, you know, I'm pleased for him as, as well to get the goal. I thought he, he took it really well, finished it off. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's really happy. Uh, one last one for me. Obviously, you went with Tommy Hurabel in the goal again. Um, I guess it's it's a fair sign that there's a fair old bit of competition going on for that goalkeeping role now. Yeah, like it's it's tough either way for me to make that decision. I, obviously, I went with Tommy. It's tough on Redders. Obviously, coming back from the from the national team as well, um, and it would be a tough on on Tommy to be left out as well after his man of the match performance against Adelaide. So. What we want is good competition in, in all positions and I think obviously Tommy's created that with um, the performances he's played in the last three games. So, um, but obviously Redders is a top keeper and I'm, I'm sure you know he's going to be up for the fight and, and we'll see what happens next week. Machado yeah. arrives this week, uh, I'm hearing. What's his sort of fitness like at this stage? 
done any kind of test or anything you can do from people over there? When do you think you'll be, you will see him out there? Yeah, well, we're hoping he'll be here towards the late end of, of next week. Uh, his fitness is, is good. His football fitness is probably not so good. He hasn't played in, in quite a while. Um, so we just need to get him out here. He'll start training and then we'll see, see where he's at uh, physically with the ball and stuff like that. But um, yeah, obviously we're looking forward to having him. He's, he's got a very good pedigree and um, you know, a lot of experience as well. He's played at some big clubs. He's won at big clubs as well. And um, yeah, we're giving him the opportunity for, for the rest of the season. So he's looking forward to the new challenge as well and, and the difference obviously coming to Australia. So you know, we're looking forward to having him out here.